Well, what's up everybody? Welcome to the stream. Today I'm working on some marketing materials. I got my beta trailer finished from last week and a whole bunch of new screenshots. Now I'm going through all my websites and just updating things like the press kit and pre-order things. It, everything was out of date. I hadn't touched any of these marketing materials in like a year. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm working on this new like logo for Wizard Food Games right here. Are there song with your toys yet? <laughs> Not yet. I hope to make a cloth map. That would be really cool. Cloth map. But yeah, maybe maybe there will be an opportunity for toys. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> How are you doing, Red Sands? What have you been up to, man? Plushy jibs, for sure. Oh, yeah. All right, where was this one? The one file that started it all. Might have been this backdrop.ping. Dude, this is a way cooler logo than the other one. You came back from some shopping? Nice. Yeah, let's take this logo. Yeah, this is just boring compared to that. Call this one Press Kit Logo 4. It's about a hundred and forty wide. All right, okay, we make this one hundred and forty wide by one hundred and forty tall, and we'll proceed to make this cooler. Oh, dang, it doesn't fit. Oh. All right, we'll just make it fit. All right, let's align this down at the bottom. First, let's get rid of this logo here. Where's that one at? Hmm. There we go. What's up, Ogre Shud? Welcome, man. How's it going? I'm just working on some marketing materials today. It's been like over a year since I did any of this marketing stuff, so it's about time I got everything up to date, ship shape. What's 
going well, man. Very well. Oh, there's that. That's really important. Little sphere I drew. This moon I never used. Let's align that on the middle bottom. There, now we're starting to have a logo. What's up, Whippering? Yo, Whippering, yo. Whippering, I have you to thank for the new trailer. Have you seen the new trailer? It's all thanks to you. Everybody, last year, um, Whippering, does, Whippering does this awesome thing called Indie Cup. And a lot of local events, and he also does um, like marketing and publicity and promotion and um, publishing for indie games. So if you guys are looking to get your indie game marketed, you should check out Whippering. He does all that. But one of the suggestions he made last year was to take the trailer and make it um, more like a narrative, so it actually tells a story. And so this time, when I redid the trailer, I made sure to um, to do that, to make sure the trailer actually tells a story. So if you guys haven't seen the new trailer, I'll post a little link. But oh, such a great suggestion, Whippering. What's up, Clock? What's up, Salad Dongs? Welcome to the stream, you guys. Here's the trailer, if you haven't seen it. So yeah, I'm just working on some marketing materials today. Okay, so I want this to be a little bit more framed. These background clouds. No, these are the foreground clouds. <laughs> I love how everything's named all wrong. Yeah, it totally worked out, man. Yeah, I tried to actually make it so that the story, the 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 um the trailer actually has elements that kind of work in sequence, right? The hero starts out, the hero gets the sword, then he goes and starts adventuring, and then he finds the boss, he beats a boss, he gets upgraded, you know. It actually works this kind of as a narrative without saying any words, you know, it's just a salad refresh, man. Oh, see you, see you, Red Sands later, man. Um, if you guys, yeah, let me post um Whippering's link. If you guys, maybe his chat's not working. I think it's just Whippering.com. Yeah, here it is. All right, so I'm gonna take this logo from this file and move it over to this thing because it just looks cooler. So the background clouds, which ones are those? There we go. This is the background background and this is just the background. Uh, that's what the um, Whippering. That's Whippering's company right there. Whippering was just in the chat there, and yeah, they they're great, totally. Okay, I think a little bit of this white color would go well. Not too much, though. So. 
something like this. We'll frame it a little bit. Did someone say clouds? Difference clouds? I've never tried that. Marketing is there you need help in? Well, marketing is basically all it, all it boils down to is making other people aware of your what you have. You know, you're doing a good job at marketing if more people are aware. And all it is, is all marketing really is, is getting, is finding the people that would be interested in what you have to offer, right? Like, um, like for example, when I first started out making this, I wanted to find the people that would be interested in a game kind of like Songbringer, right? So yeah, I'm doing a good job if I find people that are interested in playing Zelda-like games or whatever. So it's just, it's just posting your stuff on Twitter, po you know, sharing however you can, whatever, whatever social network or whatever you want to use, just sharing your stuff until you find those people that are interested in what you have to offer. Oh, it doesn't look good at all. Difference clouds. Uh, almost got me there. Okay. We'll leave this little, well, Yeah, we need to throw this logo in here. Hmm, okay. This is starting to make some sense. Each knee, what's up, man? Oh, no, I didn't know about it. I didn't... I don't really use the the filters and effects and stuff like that that much in Photoshop. Just do the pixel art. You're finally done with school stuff. Oh, that's awesome. You got? Did you finally get all your net beans done? <laughs> Man, what are you working on now on the engine? What's up, Dino? Dino. Yes. Yeah. All right. I want this logo to be the same. Um, same color, same hue as this yellow right here. Yeah, that would make the yellow the same hue as the orange. Ooh, what to do? Let's try me changing the logo first. Oh, you had to reacquaint yourself. Oh man, it's been too long. Isolating the rendering code. Weren't you just fixing the rendering code last time you were working on it? Like you just broke through and found that crazy bug and got everything working again. That was like a triumphant moment for you. I was like, I was stoked. Like, yeah, salad dogs. You did it. It's always fun to play with Hughes. See what comes, see what like can be a nice compliment. Yeah, I think this yellow works really well. It's plus 15. There's plus 11. That looks pretty good. Or there, plus 9. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Working on some AI code. Sweet, man. I know, right? I remember that too. You're like, I don't really exactly know what it was, but it just works now. Okay, this whole brightness thing. 
turn these off. Okay, now the games logo, or uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this logo look better. Shoot, I need my some proper pixel art with the proper graphics tablet. Oh, by the way, oh my gosh, this is crazy cool. I bought a new mouse. If you guys haven't ever seen my mouse, it's like frayed. The edges of my mouse cord were so frayed that, I, that like I think electricity was going through my body because of it. Like at least five volts of electricity. So I got myself a new mouse for the sake of my heart. I'm like, dude, my heartbeat needs a new mouse. But yeah, I got a new mouse. I'm pretty stoked about it. It was only $7. There's a $7 mouse on Amazon.com that was way better. Way freaking better than the, the Max. The Apple's, Apple's $50 Mighty Mouse is, is shit. I just got to say that. The Magic Mouse looks pretty cool, but it's wireless. I don't want a wireless mouse because I don't want to put wireless signals right near my balls all day. Just to let you know, yeah, I finally got, I did, I finally got a new mouse. It's awesome. It's a great mouse. I'd highly recommend this thing. It's super slick and fast. Let me show you. It's, um, it's called, I think it's made by Jet Tech. It's got one of these little scrolly things and two buttons and it's an adjustable DPI. And I love it. And the best part is no, no capacitive sensors. So there's no electricity going through my body. I'm not sure if there really was that much electricity going through the, my body because of the capacitive sensors and the magic or the mighty mouse, but still I'm kind of worried about it. Especially with how, with how frayed the freaking mouse was. It's so great. Isn't that funny? All right, wait, let's take this logo. So I'm gonna duplicate this and then merge this. And then I'm gonna turn that one off. Okay, so this is the logo layer. Let's clean this up a bit. We'll take this bolts layer. Kill that right there for now. Yes, right? Totally. It's a win-win in both of them. Both the nads. <laughs> I feel nice. Oh, besides it feeling good. That you can't turn into a superhero. <laughs> it booted. Nice rocket. You got it to boot. That's sweet. I know I had some trouble booting elementary OS one time. Which version of elementary are you using? You've been drinking tea? Nice, man. What kind of tea do you drink? I love tea as well. Oh, you're on Loki? Is that the newest one? 0 0.04 or 0 0.4? There we go, that's a little cleaner. And then... Oh, I think I want to get rid of this little... Some of this gray in the background. Wait. Let's move the logo so it lines up there. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe we'll move it like that, just the end. So it lines up with this bolt thing here. Ooh. 
Nice, man. Ginseng. What's your, so what kind of tea do you like to drink? Oh, you got Earl Grey, nice. Oolong, yeah. Pu'er, jasmine green. Have you had white tea? I like white tea. I like, oh, have you had rooibos? Man, my girl and I love this, um, this one kind of tea called, it's like rooibos vanilla. It's really good. Yeah, it's really delicate, right? Yeah, I really like rooibos. Rooibos is like a real nice, it's robust. It's kind of just like, feels very red colored. Yeah. Okay, let's clean up this logo a little bit. Oh man, I didn't even want to clean it up that much. There's too many dots here. A little distracting. The U, this thing on top of the U over here is also kind of like, is it an umlaut? Is it an accent? Is it one of those grave things? You can't do caffeine anymore? Yeah. Why can't you do caffeine? I can't really do it either, but I'm asking I'm asking your reason why cuz I'm interested. <clears throat> I try and lay off on the caffeine cuz I feel like I'm actually I'm a little bit too like um what's the word? Scatterbrained. I'm kind of scatterbrained when I drink caffeine. Oh, it's insomnia for you? Ooh, mate is great. I love mate. If you like mate, have you have you drank mate out of a gourd? With the bombilla, the way they do it in South America, it's like if you like mate, you gotta try doing it, doing drinking mate that way. <laughs> On Brolo, <laughs> oh, Mr. Frank, make me laugh and smile every time, man. Oh, it's a heart-related issue. Dang, Ichni. That's crazy, but you know what? That's so important. Caffeine can really affect your heart like that. Number one, because it, it you know, of course it makes your heart beat faster because it's caffeine and all that. But two, um, caffeine also eats up a lot of your minerals, like magnesium, for example, which is very important to have a good heart. Look at me, I'm like Dr. Fu today. <laughs> oh, you already use a Gorgon and Babia? Nice, right on. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah, totally. Okay, this looks pretty good. It's nice and cleaned up now. I think that's, yeah.
Yeah, this is starting to look good. So once this is all said and done, I'll put some more of that blur back on this bolt thing. I think I'm going to align the, the clouds now. Oh, it's your blood pressure? Interesting. I have this thing called the um, extra, sim extra something... It's where your beat, where your heartbeat sometimes has this one extra beat too soon. It's like a prema oh, premature valvular, I don't know. But I have something too with my heart and I really got to watch things. I think I have to start eating more, like, I got to get more magnesium in my diet or something. I'm trying to figure it all out myself without going to the doctor too much. Doctors are expensive. Uh-huh, yeah. Theo, so wait, there's theobromine. And so there's like caffeine. Isn't there something called matine? Or mat, yeah, matine or something like that. And then there's theobromine. There's a lot of those things. Let's tuck this middle layer of clouds a little bit down. That's good. Now I'll redo these layer masks. Yeah, stay healthy. Keep making games. It's 1.30 and you're hungry? I hear you. Oh, they're the same thing? Oh, okay. Just different name or something. Now these background clouds. Oh, wait, Mati is just caffeine. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea if that's if that's true or if that's like a a blanket solution to have more magnesium. But I know that magnesium and calcium are very important for the heart and from keeping it keeping it well. Oh, interesting. It might be a game dev thing. Yeah, it could be. It could be. We all have low magnesium. Yeah, I see. I also get a lot of cramps all the time. I don't know why it is, but like cramps and I think it's all related. Jace Kelly, what's up, man? Should you give up on programming if you suck at math? Definitely not. Definitely not. If you look at any any time, I've I've done so many programming streams where I obviously showed people how bad I am at math. The other day, I was trying to rotate triangles. That's all I was trying to do is just get some triangles rotated, and I spent all stream trying to figure it out, and I just couldn't. Um yeah, so I suck at math too, man. You don't have to you don't have to give up on game dev if you suck at math. You don't even have to be that good at math, really. Trust me. I the way I do math is I just use the WTF method. I just go, let's try this, and then if it doesn't work, I go, well, let's try something else. It's like a it's a horrible strategy for doing math, but yeah, I suck at it too. Yeah, I agree with salad there. It's more logic than math. Oh, clock. What's what's up, man? You got a hard murmur? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. Heart murmurs are different. I don't know what they, exactly they. There's so many like heart things. Trial and error. That's it. Yeah, that's the kind of like um, that's my strategy. Is just trial and error. Does it? Is it the sign? Is it the cosine? Maybe it's the negative sign. Maybe it's the sign plus pi. Maybe it's only plus half a pi. You know, I just like sit there and tr just run it again and again and again until it works. Hardcore math? Like what kind of, sh give us an example. Give us an example of like a programming exercise. It's hardcore math. Oh, that's good. Doesn't it affect you? Yeah, that's what mine is too. I have extra beats. Or it's like, it's almost like a truncated beat. Like a, it'll be like beat, 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 beat. Beat, 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 beat. It's weird. But I think it's called the extra sim something. I forget. Okay, this is starting to look better. Let's get a little more clouds there. Maybe even take away this top see what it looks like without that and that. It's kind of nice. That's pretty good. Cool. Oh, not anymore. Dang. So does that like, does that limit you somehow? Like, what does it do to you, like, physically? Why can't you be as, why can't you play football or stuff? Oh, you've had palpitations? Yeah, I've felt those before, too. Yeah. Okay, let's get this little, these bolts blurred. And then we'll throw on some, um... Some stuff onto the top, some light that'll make it look cooler. So I'm gonna use some Gaussian blur on this like light beam thing here. All right, maybe one more of these layers. Gaussian blur increasing the radius. Okay, I like that, but this last one I'm gonna tone down maybe 50% or so. That's cool. Okay, let's throw some light on top. This will really be the, t the, f the touch that makes it really look awesome. Oh, it just mainly made you become less active because you're conscious of it? Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like if I was a little more physically active, I think my, my heart thing would go away. But maybe that's, I don't know, that might be the wrong intuition. Maybe it would be worse if I was more physically active. I, I probably should just be like, at least take some walks or like, you know. I do yoga, a little bit of yoga each day, but I used to do a lot of yoga each day. What the hell is this layer right here? Oh, this is a normal 0% layer, no wonder. What's this? Also 0%, we can get rid of that. Oh, oh hey. Oh, hey, this is always an important thing to do. I forgot about doing this, but when you're making pixel art, it's pretty cool to do this to like make it all grayscale and then see if there's anything that doesn't pop anymore. So it helps you share, it helps you make sure the foreground is the foreground and the background is the background. When I just made a grayscale here, you can see that this middle layer of clouds is so bright that it's like, you can kind of not really tell that the character's there as much anymore. So I'm gonna tone down the brightness of that middle layer.
That's so much better. Wow. Cool. All right. Yeah, the light will really help with this. So let's go to this one file I got. I was working on earlier today. Um, one of these capsules. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. This light's pretty nice. It's just an ellipse. I don't know if you can copy a freaking ellipse though. Oh, it's a, this is a gradient overlay. Black to white. And then it's radial, but blend mode is overlay. Okay, that's pretty simple to add on to this layer. Oh wait, oh, I could just copy the layer style maybe. That didn't work. Huh. Duplicate to the other file? Yeah, I wish I could. But it's like this some kind of weird layer. I don't know which kind of what kind of layer this is. It looks like I started with an ellipse. But I can't tell what the hell what this was. Wait, did I make this? Um so yeah, it's got a hundred percent fill opacity. Hmm. Oh, this was an ellipse. Okay. So it was an ellipse about that big. I wonder if... Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. Okay, let's just draw an ellipse and do the same thing. Oh, when you want to duplicate, really? Let me try that. So if I go and I duplicate, oh, except maybe not that kind of duplicate, not the shortcut, but like actual duplicate. Duplicate layer. Oh, what? Does that work? I think it did. Nice. Thank you, man. Wait, is it Dino or Dino? That totally worked. That's awesome. That's a sweet trick. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, that just tiny little touch is bad. It adds so much to this whole document. This lighting, lighting is key. So sweet. Awesome, let's duplicate this other layer too. This is a, thank you, man. That's such a cool trick. I didn't know you could duplicate into another document. Wow, you learn something every day. Now I can teach this to somebody else and the cycle will be complete. So you gotta go layer, duplicate layer without doing the shortcut. Yeah, much better, right? Much better. Oh, let's make sure that my um, flux is off because it's almost sunset here. Yeah, there, that just changed the color. Total Photoshop guru, except for all the filters. I don't know anything about filters really, except for blur. All right, cool. We got this. All right, let's just set, like size this up. Uh, 
Okay, this one This one is like a weird brightness thing thing. Which what layer was that that I was were these in a different order? Oh, that was the one on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom one adds some brightness to the middle. Uh, no, this is not more poster art. This is all just marketing materials. Yeah, this is like stuff I would upload to Steam or a press kit. Or if somebody was like, like, a, like somebody's wanting to write an article about Songbringer, they could go to my press kit and grab these logo graphics and stuff like that. Um, or things you would submit to a contest. You know, there's so many uses for marketing materials like this. Yeah. So I'm just updating it because it's been over a year since I updated all these marketing materials. So it's just time to like go back and add nice little new touches and do like this, this Wizard Foo Games logo. I didn't even, like this is the old one. The old one's sucky. Look at that. <laughs> it's, so, it's so sucky. Gotta upgrade that. This is way better already. Okay, so that adds some light to the middle, but man, that edges is so nice. I'm not even sure if I like the light on the on the outside at all. Yeah, this is just too much. If anything, it might look nice if this effect was really lowered, like only that much. Uh, I guess it's kind of nice. And maybe this one should be a little more more of an effect. See, it's getting to be a little bit too much, actually. This is nice, but... Huh, wait, it can't, you know... There's kind of advantages to it. Wait, what if I took this... This lighting layer, about like that, and then duplicate it, but change the size of the ellipse. So let's call this one light middle. You finally started the demo for your game? Sweet, man. Awesome. What's this from Clock? Yes, Clock. <laughs> I like that. Is that magic coming out of his hands? That's awesome. Yeah. Shit, what am I doing with this logo? I need to just switch to that one. Years of practice. I know, man, right? I got to study more. One, one of these days, I'll be as good as you. Master Clock. All right. I like it. I like it. So how's it looking now with the grayscale? It's still, yeah, well, with the grayscale, it looks pretty cool now. I think the very background clouds are still a little too bright, though. What's up, Roan? Welcome, man. Yeah, this layer here, this background, background clouds, these can be a little lighter. A little more transparent. Yeah, that's good. Right about there. Maybe a little brighter. Sweet. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's upload this. 
Wizard food game. Oh, wait. Maybe the logo could have... Maybe a little bit of drop, not drop shadow, but like a little bit of like something to make it look a little bit more 3D. I'll take this color and make it a little darker. And make it a little deeper in hue and a tiny bit more saturated. I guess I could put it on a separate layer in case I don't like it. I always do that with art. Put it on a separate layer because I'm always afraid I'm going to mess stuff up. But I've seen some really great artists and they don't even use multiple layers blows my mind but I see the advantage because when you stop using multiple layers it's kind of gets easier for your brain to think about it and especially if you come from like a traditional um, fine art background it, it'll make a lot of sense to like work with just a single layer because it's a lot more like painting Could have just duplicated this layer and then drew it all this color and shifted it down one pixel. <laughs> but it's kind of fun to do pixel art. You tend to merge layers as often as you can? That's cool. Yeah, merging layers, and you get it down to what, like, first of all, it's simpler and it's easier. You're like, okay, cool, I don't have, like, 50 layers. But secondly, you're kind of working more like a, like, like you're working with an actual medium, like oil or acrylic. Not that pixels aren't an actual medium, but they can, you know, they're not really... <sighs> Now that I did that, I'm not sure if I even like it. Well, maybe if it's toned down a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's benefits to multiple layers, too. Yeah. Going nuts, right? Going nuts. Look at this. This is already nuts. And then you get like, sometimes you get groups of layers of groups. It's like, once you get the groups in there, dang. That's when it gets really confusing. Okay, there, and now let's put the lighting back on. That looks pretty good. What can I do to make the character pop a little bit more? Maybe make his legs a little darker. Yeah, actually, let's make the character a little darker. His clothes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I do that too. I duplicate and then try something. 100 layers? Whoa. Which is something we'll do right now. We'll duplicate this guy layer. 
and play with it. Surprised it even ran. Photoshop was like ch chugga ch chugga ch chugga ch ch ch. This is the funny thing about Photoshop: when you start selecting a bunch of layers, like, or we have a selection like this, you're making lots of selections. It really eats a lot of CPU. I don't know why. Either that or maybe it's just game show processing this. And it's because it's got the ant trail here, it's like hard for game show to process it. I don't know. Eats a lot of CPU though. Okay, I'm saving this selection as closed because I worked so hard in this selection. And let's play with it. Play with the hue. Actually, we can just put a hue layer on top and then make it like that. Okay, it's closed, darker. Oh yeah, man, that makes it pop so much. Just having it be darker. Let's start with, um. Yeah, look at that, too. Maybe his skin needs to be darker now, too. All right, maybe it should be a little bit hued up, too. This green color is kind of wizardly. Oh, it's a real-time render? I didn't know that. He's holding a keyboard. I know it doesn't really look like a keyboard because it's pixel art, but yeah, that's a keyboard. The light is just like, I don't know, it's supposed to represent like, whoa! How come the beam going up is thinner? Because it's not, I'm trying to make it not compete too much with the logo yeah the grayscale yeah check your values for sure if you guys oh if anybody's curious about what that is is sure it's not a chocolate bar <laughs> um if anybody's curious about that that's kind of a fun game you can play or when you're learning how to make art and stuff just check your values like you can see that the the character's hand now is arm right here is really almost the same tone, the same value as the background, which is, he's no longer distinct here. So I would either need to make his arm darker to make it pop a little more or something. So it, all I'm doing here is just making a grayscale and then checking it. Yeah, it's supposed to be a pixel version of, of yours truly holding a keyboard. But it's kind of a it's kind of a um a play on the Star Wars guy. You know the star that one Star Wars um poster? The original Star Wars poster. From 77. Yeah, this one here ish. Kind of like this. It's supposed to look like kind of like this where he's holding up a sword or whatever. But this is like um, you know, a keyboard instead. Let's play around with the colors here. He looks too much like a, a nurse. Just 
This blue color kind of works, probably because it's monochromatic. The purple's kind of interesting. The red's kind of cool. You have that poster? What? That's awesome. It's a wireless keyboard. Frank Frazetta? Oh, yeah, totally. I've checked out a bit of Frank Frazetta's artwork before. Amazing artist. Um, what's the other guy that does a lot of fantasy? Um, his name is kind of like... It's like Vl Vlad or something. I don't know. There's another really great fantasy artist from that back in the day like that. Thanks, Clock. Appreciate it, man. Are there good resources for pixel art? Yeah, there's plenty of great res resources. Um, and I did start from scratch, but like I learned from watching other people do. Um, I, would, I learned by doing a lot of watching people do speed art. So just watching people's art made in time lapse. And in, if... Um, I do have a little series on that if you want to check it out. It's called From Programmer to Artist. And, and then there's also like other a lot of other great pixel art tutorials. The dude that did the Conan poster, right? Yeah. That might be him. Is his name Lockwood? I kind of like this red color, but maybe yellow too. Let's leave it right there. That's cool. And let's darken his arm. Oh, it's the old D&D. &D. Oh, here's a, yeah. Clock, you got some good tutorials? Yeah, totally. There's so many great pixel art tutorials. And when you're, when you're learning pixel art, another great thing to learn is to how to do some simple animations too, like how to do a walk animation. So, you know, oh, cool. Oh, I've seen this one too from on on raywinderlich.com. A lot of great articles on this this website here, raywinderlich.com. I swear there's somebody named like it's not it's not Vlad, but it's like there's an O in it. So there, I made his arm a tiny bit darker. Let's put it back to grayscale. Oh, see that? That definitely helped. Here's without. His arm just like fades right into the background. Here's with. And you can now see it's pretty distinct. Cool. Let's keep it like that. But one little touch. Now it's got a little bit too much saturation. So let's play with the levels and make it so there. Just make sure it's still distinct. Hmm. Now it's not as distinct. Oh yeah. The animator's survival kit. 
Oh, Frazetta? Yeah, with, dude, yeah. The women he does? Amazing. Glenn Vilpu. Did you stream the entire code process? Yes, I did, man. It's all on YouTube. You can check it all out. It's youtube.com slash cnatweiss. Sweet. This one artist I was thinking of, though. Is his name Vlad? No, this isn't it. No. Ah, I can't remember this guy's name. It'll come to me though later. Cool. Okay, so there. We got a nice new logo for Wizard Food Games. Android APIs? No. I don't have any good I'm not I'm not really that knowledgeable about Android. Oh yeah, that guy looked like he did some really great anatomy. Okay, so let's save this out. Alright, I'm putting this in res. Let's get logo. Uh, the background's a little bit too clean, actually. I want to do a little bit of noise. Okay, there's one filter I like. It's called add noise. It's just one filter. Scott Robertson. There we go, there's some noise. Okay, so now I can take this noise and apply it to the background by making it either multiply or like, not multiply, but what's that one shortcut? Is it Shift Plus? Yeah, cool. I love this shortcut. You can go through all your filters. Darker color? No. Whoa, that's interesting. Lighten. Oh, that's nice. Overlay just takes it and makes it a little bit... Yeah, it's so nice adding a little bit of noise to the background. Overlay is cool. Overlay is probably one of my favorite ones. But also, this one was sweet. Lighten. I think I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Duplicate the layer! Let's get 100 layers here. This one's sweet.
So wait, let's wait. Check out this animator survival kit thing. What's this? Animators. Oh, also Richard Williams. Oh, there's an expanded edition. Nice. Hundred strong. You like yellow purple? Yellow purple's great. You're right, because this foreground yellow thing, that's why that looks so good, huh? The purple looks really great because of the foreground yellow. Okay, I'm gonna try another some more experiments though here. What else we got? One more layer. That's pin light. Orange blue. I think I would take the the yellow and make it orange then. But that's kind of interesting right there. Exclusion. But it's like almost post apocalyptic. It's weird. It's another layer. Okay, that's enough layers. All right, purple really stands out as pretty neat. Blue. Orange, well, this is kind of orange, but kind of not. So what if it was like this blue and then all the foreground was orange? Complimentary colors, they work, man. Purple and yellow, orange and blue, green and, um, what's green's compliment? Okay, wait, 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 wait. What if we did this purple thing and then do the whole hue change on the entire document? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. That right there is like almost orange and blue. You like the red? Crazy. All right. I think I like this purple one. It's pretty cool. I still like the blue one though too. This one's just weird. Unless maybe it was less. 
Uh, and then it's, yeah, it looks weird when, okay. Eh. Ah. Ah. Oh, the value on the title? That red sign did, right? It was very cool. The value on the title, let's check it out. You're right. Okay, let me change the background a little bit then. Add some levels to the background, make it a little bit darker. Something like that. Yeah, it barely changed the document, but it did look a lot, it does look better. Wait, let's see it. Color with, without. You like the blue background? Yeah, this is good. It doesn't change it that much and it looks good still. So let's take a look, look at the blue one more last time. Actually, the blue is pretty sweet. Maybe I'll do them both. I can always put both of these in the press kit and allow whoever's looking at it to choose whichever color they like. I like them both. Sweet, man, you like elementary? All right, we got Press Kid logo four. And this one will be four B. Looks like Aladdin. <laughs> nice. All right, let's put this in the press kit folder. It's a whole new world. Yeah. With both of them, that way the person, whoever, whoever's like trying to do a logo or whatever, or trying to like use the logo for their website, they can choose whichever one works better. I like the psychedelic ones too. Oh, child. What's Aladdin? What's Aladdin? Did you just ask that? What's Aladdin? I got so many folders open. It's like having tons of layers in a, in a document. You get confused. Okay, screw this logo. This logo sucks. It's just a Disney movie. But it's a Disney movie that we've all seen and loved. We loved it. It's our precious. He loves it. Wait, what were these called again? Oh yeah, it was just logo.
What's this tool I'm looking for? There, yum, you zip. The best way to zip. Whoa. What? What? I look like dirt nasty. Thanks, man. Take that as a compliment. All right, we'll upload these. And we got no new logo. Come on, where's the logo? Oh, uh, must have cached it or something. Anyways, I'll up I'll upload this and get it all uncached and stuff later. But this is good to have a new logo. I love this. I love it. It's nice. We back it up right now. Check that in. <laughs> you don't understand Americanese. <laughs> what's that? What What are you asking? What's that for? Which what's that was that referring to? Mm. I haven't seen a lot of any Disney movies in a long time, except for Star Wars, of course, and Pirates of the Caribbean, of course, and probably a lot of other ones. Third Nazi's musician, man. Go check out this git commit comment. Totally going with that. Okay. Well, okay, we got that logo done. That's great. I'll save it with like um, this blue. Cool. Okay. We can close this. Well, I'll keep it open, but just work on the other ones now. So this one was crap. This one I started to work on. Like this one better though. Okay, now we need a better logo for Songbringer. Um what is it what do we already have? What's up, Kappa? I'm working on marketing materials today. It's way too wordy of a gig commit. More than two characters. What's up, baby? Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Talking to Marcus? Yeah, he said hi. <laughs> uh, I know. 
Sometimes I just do the dot. I like it, just the dot. I do that for a lot of my git commits. They're all just dots. Look at this dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Lots of dots. Okay, we're gonna go for a square Songbringer logo. <laughs> Refile into null terminated string and return. <laughs> I like the and return. A file server that's called Dave, and every once in a while, we'll ping a message to all the computers saying something like, I'm superior to humans, I'm Dave. Are you referring to 2001? A space odyssey? Okay, I'm going to start with... Um, this is one logo file. Uh, oh. Cartridge two. And I'll save this in um, WordPress. Wait, no, wizardfoo.com res. Songbringer logo icon. Let's just call it logo. Logo three. <laughs> Retext file from disk and null terminated string and return pointer to send string, which is epo located with the log. So be sure to release it when you're done with it. <laughs> Space Odyssey, what's that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Salad. Like, what do the, all those letters stand for? I don't even know. All right, so I'm gonna take this document and make it, I'm gonna clean it up and make it a logo file. Start with, I, ran, I rasterized this background layer so that I can crop this document. If I hadn't rasterized this background layer, this gradient would have changed when I did that. All right, image crop. Oh, see, it broke it. Oh, because of the the light, the light layers. Got to rasterize these layers. Anything else here needs rasterizing? Yeah, it worked. 
cool. Now we got a, the starts of an icon file or a logo, whatever you want to call this. Let's get rid of all these things we don't need. Rasterize other stuff. <laughs> Probably some other stuff too. But it's a namespace. <laughs> file name to the file. <laughs> That's great. File name to the file. I love that. Yeah, you got your shadows working? That's awesome. It's great, man. You were kind of like nervous to start that, weren't you? You're like, oh, shadows. But you did it. Man, props. It's looking so good, man. Awesome. Progress. It's some awesome progress for sure. There we go. Now this file is a lot more organized. And it looks pretty good for its um for its grayscale version. Okay, I think I might try adding a little bit more light onto this though. Quads casting correct shadows. Yeah, right on, man. Yeah. Isometric roguelike, sweet. One of my favorite genres, roguelikes. Isometrics, three quarter 3D things. I like 3D as long as they as long as the camera is in a fixed angle or fixed you never have to mess with the camera. For some reason I I just like love that. It's that 2D gameplay feel where you don't have to worry about the camera. I like that. Oh, such a cool trick. Duplicating into a different document? I never knew you could do that.
So this light might be too much, but we'll see. Just adding. Well, that's the brighter light. And here's the like light middle. Okay, I think this dark edge is a bit too much because we already have some of that lighting going on. This document, it's maybe about there. And the light middle, also a bit much. See that a grayscale? I guess it works. That's pretty good. Cool. It's good enough. Nice, your recent work. Oh, sweet. Nice tiles, man. So is this for, what kind of game is this you're making? Looks cool, looks like you can build your own ship. All right, this one will go in Songbringer logo three. The space RPG, nice man. Cool. Do you have a working title or uh, links or anything you can send us? Nice, you build your ship, combat is with active pause. Sweet. Logo three. And if somebody has this document too, they can take all that stuff out. I think I should take this and export this file separate to or wait maybe just put a gray background or something Yeah, so that if anybody wants to like, just for press kit purposes, if anybody wants to use the logo on their website, here it is.
Space Delver, cool. Awesome, man. I want to hear more about it once you guys are getting it all going. <laughs> yes, you can use it for yourself. Take the logo. Paste it on your bathroom mirror. You know you want to. This is all this is an alternate like icon. Here's the logo. That's the old logo. Okay, let's copy in these new logos. Logo 3, logo 3B. I guess I should do the same kind of thing for this other logo file too for Wizard Foo. Just do the logo with the gray background. In case anybody wants that. Yes, yeah. Car window stickers, rock pissing a no poor logo. <laughs> Is he gonna, yeah. Wait, are the, all those Calvin and Hobbes things, are those actually bootlegs or is that? Oh, they are bootleg, what? Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, sweet, man, nice art for out of flight mode. Dude, where's your helmet? <laughs> nice. Awesome, man. Yeah, oh yeah, the Song Mirror Community Hub is already up and running. Yeah, it's it, um, Steam Community Games, blah, blah, blah. Yep. All you gotta do is post the artwork. Oh wait, this is not it. Oh, there it is. You will be, man. You will be. You just gotta keep going. You should have seen when I first started. I was no, I have, I didn't even have artwork that good back then. Just got better with time. Foreground clouds, background mountain, just making this document cleaner, cleaning up the layers.
It's very hard when you've got two mates, teammates. I, I call, I call it two mates, teammates. Totally right. I agree. I think it's harder to make games with with teams. Myself, but that's that's totally kind of a personal thing, right? Some people thrive in teams. Some people thrive alone. Yeah, especially if you have different visions, tastes, schedules. Oh man. Yeah. All right. So let's do a, a version of this with just a gray background. Yeah, it is, right? Both routes trade-offs for sure. All right, so now we got a gray version of this logo too. I'll put it in its proper place. I do too. Yeah, I do too. I'm a I'm a creative control freak. I gotta admit it. When I'm in a project and I don't have complete creative control over something, I feel stifled, watered down. Limited. Wait, where the hell did I put that? I'll put it in that folder. Wrong folder. <laughs> so many folders. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of difficult to find somebody to work with that has that same mindset or um, that is just willing to kind of work with your mindset. I don't know. That's how I roll too, man. Yeah. That's just the way I work. Thankfully, I realized that a few years ago. It took a, it was a hard lesson to learn, but all right, where the oh, the... Ugh, sometimes it opens up a new folder. Oh, it's just right here. Damn, I should have just freaking gone to the command line.
There we go. There, now I got logo three. So there's this logo, this logo, and that logo. Oh, logo two is too small. Throw it here, throw it there. Okay, so now we got that logo, that logo, and that logo. Yes, that looks good. Well, I think that's gonna be it for today's stream. Got some new marketing materials created. This is good. Finally, some updated marketing materials. It's been over a year since I did any of this stuff, so this looks a lot better than the old logo, which looks like that. So this is definitely going to be better. So it's good. I'm going to get these materials all uploaded and upload the materials for the other for the Songbringer as well. And that's going to be it. So yeah, by the time that today's finished, I'll finally be done with all this marketing update. And that'll be good to have everything kind of in a nice updated state. So the demo is looking decent. All right, man. We'll see you, Ishni. I'm I'm signing off too. So. We'll see you guys later. Have a great night.